this is my setup to test the fastest possible 3D printed gears. So the input motor, my gear set, and most importantly, this last one measures the RPM on here, but also measures how many revolutions the gear makes. So the gear ratio is 1 to 16. So theoretically, I should manage 125,000 RPM. The goal is to find the best gear, the best profile, the best material, the best lubricant. And I'm going to try absolutely everything. So the goal is to get the highest RPM. And if that maxes out, the most counts. So to achieve that, I have this Variac that increases the speed over about a minute or two. That's going to be the same for every single test. The time doesn't matter, just so long they're all the same. This meter measures the power, which I'm also going to record. I've got my GoPro mount, which attaches to here and watches the gears. So this very first test is going to be PLA gears, and these are helical gears. So these have a 20 degree angle, I believe. I'll have to check that in the notes. But every video after this, it's not going to be me explaining everything. You're just going to see the gears spin up, see what the results are, and then that's it. I'll also, on my website, have statistics. So I'm going to log every single type of gear, every material, every single one of these tests, and every single video. So if you want to build something and you want the best gear for high speeds, That'll tell you which one's the best and which lubricant. I'm also going to do liquid lubricants eventually, and then dry lubricants like powders. And then in the future, I'm going to test the best gear for torque. There is also the potential at the end because these gears are going to be loaded the most. These are going to get the most friction and probably fail before these do. And if that becomes the case in the end, I'm going to restart replacing them with metal gears that won't fail. And then just the maybe the last two or the last gear will be plastic. So we might actually see the highest speeds possible. But here is the very first test.
test looked like it was doing fairly well. The first gears worked out well, but the second one, you might notice the RPM jumped up, and that's because originally I used a connector on this that was loose. So now I've soldered the wires on. So I'll run this test again and see what we get. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.